Now we're going to head straight to Southport Court. The 17-year-old male charged with the murder of three girls killed in Southport has now been named as Axel Ruda Kubana after he appeared before Liverpool's Crown Court. Uh, Charlie Peters, our national reporter, has been there in the courtroom. Charlie, what went on? Well, there are two different court hearings today, Tom. First in the youth court, which was then moved on to the Crown Court for the second hearing, where Axel Rudakabana was named and the reporting restrictions on his identity were lifted because he turns 18 in just six days. And the judge here said that the principal interest for lifting that restriction was that he would soon reach his majority and therefore would have all those restrictions lifted regardless. He also pointed towards much of the unrest that we've seen taking place across the country in recent days, rioting last night, uh, not only in London, but also in Hartlepool and Manchester. Uh, the judge here saying, uh, Mr Minari, Mr Justice Minari Casey, saying that at least part Part of that rioting had been inspired by in a vacuum of the facts where false information was being spread. He said this was nonsense and it needed to be challenged with the truth. Well, the truth is now that the suspect in this case alleged to have committed three murders and ten attempted murders and possession of an offensive sharp blade is Axel Rudakabana, a 17-year-old, again turning 18 in just six days. Uh, he was arrested at the scene on Monday, shortly after calls were made at 11.50 of that mass stabbing attack at the location on Hart Street, where a Taylor Swift yoga dance event was taking place. We also heard both names uh, of the adults who have uh, survived the alleged attack, saying uh, that they are Leanne Lucas, who was leading the dance class, and a local called John Hayes. Uh, all eight of the remaining attempted murder charges relate to children. Their names are protected by law at this stage. But, uh, as discussed, Axel Rudikabana, 17-year-old, has been named as the suspect in this case. And sitting in the courtroom in the first lower court in the, in the magistrates, he was silent, but he smiled towards the press gallery behind the dock as he entered the court and then covered his face with his grey jumper tracksuit. In the Crown Court, he entered without gazing towards us, again covering his face with a tracksuit, rocking gently side to side as he heard deliberations between the defending and prosecuting barristers and the judge about these reporting restrictions and upcoming dates for these legal proceedings. But when I think he realised perhaps that he was going to be named and reporting restrictions were to be lifted, he then stopped rocking and indeed appeared to gaze below uh, the, the cover he'd made for himself through his tracksuit and look around the courtroom. Now, the next date for these proceedings will be the 25th of October when a plea date has been put into the legal diary. Uh, until then, he will be remanded in youth custody in a secure facility. Ordinary words there, Charlie. The way that the way that he looked up at the press gallery and smiled. Uh, beggar's belief, but goodness me, uh, the trial continues. Charlie Peters, uh, thank you very much.